What I'd like to do is show you how to transform an equation from standard form to vertex form. I'm going to go through the steps real quick on um, what we're doing when we're completing the square. And then remember that our standard form is in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which we have right here. And our vertex form is in the form of y equals ax minus h squared plus k. So, uh, first thing we do when, when completing the square is we need to have it in x squared plus bx form. And what I mean by that is we cannot have a coefficient to our x squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out that 2. And now I can't factor 2 out of every single term because that 3 is not going to be divisible by 2. Now if I, um, however, I'm going to have to factor that 2 out of at least my x squared and my x term. And even if it was not factorial, I could still divide out that 2. Actually, now I'll leave it like this. I'll give another example in here in a little bit. So if I was going to factor out my 2, I'd have y equals 2 times x squared minus 2 x. And then I'm not going to factor the 2 out. I'm not going to factor the 2 out of the out of this 3 because I really don't need it for completing the square. Because when I'm completing the square, I'm only concerned about these first two terms. And I'm just going to have a minus 3. Then to go and complete the square, step number 2 is to do b over 2 squared. So b over 2 squared is going to be um, negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. Squared is going to be a positive 1. Then step number 3 is to add to both sides. Now, rather than adding to both sides, I'm just going to add and subtract 1. Um, I'm both there because adding and subtracting to the same side is the same thing as adding to both sides. So I have y equals 2 x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 4. Now, if you look inside this parentheses, now what I can do is I can transform this into a perfect square. I can say this is the same thing as x minus 1 squared. So I have y equals 2 times x minus 1 squared minus 4. Now I complete my problem into vertex form. From here, I can say that I have a vertex of 1 comma negative 4. Because remember that this is always going to be your, your um, positive, because in the formula it's x minus h. And then I'm also going to have a um, compression at, at a factor of 2. So that's how you transform an equation from standard form to vertex form.